Amazon just quietly added something new to Fire Sticks, and most people didn't even realise it. It's called Lightning Server, and when it popped up in people's apps list, the questions started flooding in. Did you notice this on your Fire Stick 2? If you did, let me know in the comments, because today we're digging into what Lightning Server actually is, what it does, and whether you should remove it. Lightning Server isn't some shady third-party app. It's made by Amazon themselves. According to APK Mirror, it's published under Amazon's own developer account with the package name com.amazon.storm.lightning.services. It first appeared after FireOS 7.704 when people started noticing it in the Manage Installed Applications list, even though Amazon never mentioned it in update notes. So to be clear, Lightning Server is built by Amazon bundled into Fire OS and pushed through official updates. According to Bitdefender's research, Lightning Server is the background service that makes your Fire Stick talk to other devices. For example, when you connect your Fire TV remote app on your phone, Lightning Server sets up the secure server on your Fire Stick that handles the pairing process and send commands. So, in simple terms, Lightning Server is a background service that makes your Fire Stick communicate with other devices, especially Amazon's official Fire TV remote app. In 2023, Bitdefender found a vulnerability in Lightning Server's pairing system. Attackers on the same Wi-Fi could brute force the pin and hijack the remote. But Amazon patched this by April 2023 and there were no signs it was exploited in real-world use. Lightning Server comes with something called Collect Metrics, and what that means is it can log how parts of your Fire Stick are used and send that data back to Amazon. Think of it like analytics on a website. Amazon collects information to improve services, track errors, and optimize performance. Totally normal for system apps, but if you're privacy conscious, it's one of those details you may want to be aware of. And speaking of privacy, if you want to keep your own streaming activity private, I recommend NordVPN. With my link, you'll get a discount plus four extra months free. I use it myself to protect my connection and unlock content libraries. To ensure your online activity and your data, click the link in the description and pinned comment below. Lightning Server is tiny, it's only about 1.2 megabytes, so most people won't notice it running and performance impact is basically zero. Some Fire Stick owners have uninstalled it and noticed no difference, but if you remove it, you might lose features like the phone remote app or casting, and Fire OS could just reinstall it during the next update. So my advice would be to leave it unless you're desperate for space or love tinkering. If you do uninstall it, watch for things like your phone's remote app failing to pair. So Lightning Server isn't malware, it isn't a random ad service, it's Amazon's own tool for making your Fire Stick talk to other devices. It had one past security issue, but that's been patched and it's not harmful to leave it installed. But if you have uninstalled it, let me know in the comments if anything happened. If you want even more direct access to discussions like this, hit the join button here on YouTube. Channel members get into our private chat group. That's where I first heard about Lightning Server before it hit the forums. If you found this video interesting and helpful, please remember to hit the thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you do so, so you don't miss out on more tech news and updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.